Well, this is a really fun project that I've been working on. And it's a pretty special project for me too, because it's a diorama of my daughter Teresa's new illustrated children's book called Huckleberry Pie, The Adventures of Archie Hedgehog. And this is Archie Hedgehog right here. It is a really cute little story that she wrote and I know that your kids and grandkids and nieces and nephews are just going to absolutely love it. Teresa's been the one that has been editing my videos here on YouTube for the last 10 years. And this is a way for me to thank her for all the hard work she's put into it and also to help her launch her new book. I've never really tried to carve a storybook character before. So this will be a good learning experience for me. In order to get the little hedgehog shape right, I made a maquette of polymer clay based on some of Teresa's drawings so I can refer to it while I'm carving. I started out with two blocks of tupelo wood, one for the hedgehog and one for the mushrooms in the mossy area that he'll be sitting on. I decided to just use my imagination and freeform the shape of the mushroom base. Teresa's worked really hard on getting this book finished. The illustrations took her almost a year to get done. She's real excited to finally have it available for kids to enjoy. If you want to support Teresa's work, it'd be really helpful if you'd spread the word and buy her book and give it a good review. I know she'd really appreciate it. like he's wearing a football helmet now. Archie's holding a huckleberry in his hands, so I'm using a blueberry for reference so I can get the details right. Well, the way I um, fit the little hedgehog to the to the carving is I use uh, graphite transfer paper, and I just slip it under here like this, and then just slide it out, and then I check underneath here for marks, and you can see I just got a tiny little mark there and here. Otherwise, he's fitting pretty good. So I, I just start with a, a rough block and just start roughing it in. And I just keep using the transfer paper until it finally fits. And now his feet make pretty good contact now. And uh, he's setting on there just about the way I want him. I really had to do a lot of thinking to try and get a happy smile on Archie's face. I'm not used to giving my animal carvings expressions.
want the moss to look soft and velvety. So I watered down the paint a lot and let it soak in to raise the wood grain and add some good texture. To keep the mushrooms looking smooth, I need to seal the wood with polyurethane before painting. I also sealed Archie's face and front with polyurethane to keep them smooth, but left the quills unfinished on the back to build texture. I'm using acrylic modeling paste to create the crusty white areas on top of the mushrooms. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed making this. I didn't realize how much fun it was going to be to make a storybook character, but it was fun. I hope you go on over to Teresa's channel. Picture Book Haven and uh, check out the video she did there of the making of this book and I think she does a read aloud there uh, where you'll know exactly what's in it see all the illustrations. Thanks a lot for your support everyone. I'll see you on the next one.